And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe! What's up my YouTube friends, viewers, subscribers, everybody. Welcome back to another Banger Motivational video. And the topic for today is communication versus comprehension. A lot of people always get these uh, concepts mixed up and i know for all those smart people oh, oh, communication is about talking and comprehension is about understanding okay let's dive deeper into this so let's start with communication you know they always say uh communication is key to make stuff work if you got a problem you talk to somebody or talk about the problem or you know like just talk about anything to be honest like if you have a problem with a friend or communication like communication is about talking about whatever what's going on but the mistake a lot of people make is comprehension. Remember, comprehension is not for you. It's for the other person. Because comprehension is the person understanding exactly what you're saying. And I think that hap I think this is like one of the biggest thing or biggest problem, I should say, that's been going on in this generation. Because oftentimes, you know, like people communicate. Like communication is about you saying stuff. But if a person can't understand what you're saying, then what you said, absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. So let's dive deeper into this. So you got a friend or acquaintance or it could be anybody. And you're saying stuff. You're saying something, sorry. If they don't understand, it makes no sense. When we were younger, they always say, oh, communication is key and communication is this and communication is that. But if a person can't truly understand what you're saying, it don't make no sense. Like if you really think about it, it don't make no sense. You just waste your breath saying something. And age doesn't even matter because a person can be the same age as you, older or younger than you, and they still can't, can't understand what you're saying. So communication is you trying to make somebody understand what you're saying. Let's say it's like a minor issue and you're going to go to somebody and say, okay, so this, 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 and this, and this. You have to try your best in order to make somebody understand what you're trying to say. It's like a person can't receive if they don't understand. Like comprehension is the person receiving like whatever it is you're telling them or whatever it is that you're saying to them, they can, they know they're receiving it properly based off how you project it to them. You know what I mean? So often I think communication is also a problem too, because some people, they don't know how to communicate. You know what I mean? So like, like that's, that's a lot of problem in this generation, like communication and comprehension. Those two go together because me, I can come and say something to you. Just like most of my motivational videos, some people are like, I can say something, but if they're not in a state of mind, some people can't understand what I'm trying to say until they probably grow up. It's like Family Guy. When I was younger, I used to watch Family Guy because it seemed like a cartoon, but could I understand it? Absolutely not. Watching it now that I'm all grown up, I can understand it. Like I've watched like, not say all. But most of it, but it's still ongoing. So it's not like, say, completed as yet. But when I was younger, I used to sit down and watch Family Guy all the time. Couldn't understand it. You know, it looked like a cartoon. So, of course, kids will eventually watch it. But it's a, an adult cartoon. So if you're not in some state of mind, that you can't understand it. So if you're in a relationship and you're trying to communicate with your partner, if they can't understand what you're saying, then it don't make no sense. You know what I mean? If I'm having a deep conversation with somebody, I normally look directly at them to see if they can understand. If they can't understand what I'm saying, then it makes no sense for me to prolong the conversation. Because people that know me personally, oftentimes, like I got a good personality, fun, seem a bit immature. But oftentimes, if I'm in a conversation, like a serious conversation with somebody, I always look directly at them. Because me, I can I know how to analyze stuff and manage my time. So if I'm talking to somebody, Instantly, I can see from their expression and how, and their body language if they can comprehend what I'm saying. So if they can understand, I, I'm not even talking about age. So if I'm talking to somebody and they understand what I'm saying, then I can go deeper in whatever it is we're talking about or, you know what I mean? Keep it going. Because me, I like to have good conversations from time to time, depending on the person. Because me, I only have 
good conversations. Like I have different conversation with different people because everyone is different. And that's one of the things that a lot of people fail to understand is they may, th they may think, Oh, you're this age. So you should know this. You have to remember people mature based off their responsibility that they have and their mentality. So if a person is the same age as you, doesn't really mean they understand whatever it is that you're trying to say or let's say you got your first job at 16 you know how to get paid you know how to save your money you know how to uh treat yourself and this type of stuff if a person is the same age as you let's say you're you're doing all this when you're 16 to 18 if you run into another 18 year old that never had to do it before they don't know what the hell you're talking about because me throughout my whole life i've had like I've talked with a lot of people obviously but it's very rare I can come across somebody that's like the same age as me that can like understand exactly what I'm trying to say because people that's the same age as me they will tell me oh go get a job or go do this and go do this and go do that that's how they end up get caught in the system because a person that's under 30 will eventually tell me, oh, I got a job when I was this age and I got this and I got this and I got that. But when I'm talking to them about YouTube and all this kind of stuff, they're looking at me crazy. They not even say crazy. They, they look blank. Like when people, if, if you can understand another person and you can read body language and analyze stuff, you can see when you're talking to people that when they're blank, like when nothing is going through their mind, you can see it. Because I've talked to people that's the same age as me, a little bit older, probably younger. And then when I'm talking to them about stuff, they look clueless. Like they don't know what, what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And then you're going to have some people that if you're, say, having a serious conversation with somebody else, sorry. Somebody else may look at you and say, then how come you never talk to me about this? It's not, say, you don't talk to them about it. It's that they can't understand it. You ever had a conversation with somebody? And... Like you're having a good, like you're having conversation with somebody and then you ask them a question, then they, ca they can't answer it right away. And then say a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, or even days, maybe even weeks, then they come back with an answer. That's because in the moment they can't, un they didn't understand what you're trying to say. So you can communicate with somebody, you can teach somebody something, but you can't, they, if they don't understand it, some people like. What I come to understand is, like me, I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm able to think outside of my own box, which means I now finally realize, well, for a while now, but I have noticed that we all don't think the same. We all don't want the same thing. And a lot of people, like people often, like whatever a person would do, they automatically assume everybody else will do the same thing. And I figured this out at a very young age that we all have different mentalities and are all our brain is wired different and all of us want different things. It doesn't really matter how much brother and sisters and cousins and how big your family is. All of that doesn't really matter because everybody mentality is different and everybody want different things. You can communicate with your family, friends, co-worker, acquaintance. You can have any small conversation with them, but a comprehension. Comprehension is a person understanding exactly what you're trying to say. If you can, if you know how to put stuff in words and try to get it across, well, you did your part. But the person understand what you're trying to say. That's where the problem comes in. That's why you can be in a relationship with somebody or even a friendship with somebody. No, let, let's say a relationship. You can be in a relationship with somebody and you can say to them, okay, I don't like you doing this, I don't like you saying that. You know what I mean? You can have like small stuff you will try to say. But if a person don't understand like where you stand mentally, like if you got standards, they look at you as a bad person because they can't deal with you a certain way. And if you got boundaries, they also look at you as a bad person because they can't treat you in any type of way. But that's their problem, not yours. So let's say you're in a relationship with somebody and your partner, you know, like, uh, going out without you or spending time with friends you know what i mean like they're doing something that causes it like they're doing something that will cause a potential problem so you can sit down and analyze and say you know what this is gonna become a bigger deal so let me see if i can sit down and talk with this person since they're your partner so you can talk with somebody but if that person can't understand what you're trying to say then it don't make no sense
it makes no sense. And people, like, you got some people that can't know nothing or they, they can't learn until it's very too late. And that's something that we all have to understand is, like, <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> it's so funny. Like, bro, you can try to convince somebody something, but if they are not there mentally, it makes no sense. You will end up destroying yourself in order to, say, make somebody understand what you're trying to say. And that's something I, I never did that my whole life. Like me, I'm the type of person where if I'm talking to somebody, I like to listen to them because the only way you can know a person is by letting them talk to you. So you need to learn to listen sometimes. You know what I mean? So if a person is talking to you, then they're telling, they're saying how they think or they're telling you just how they think because people brain are wired. Like people make decisions based off their whole, their own mentality. So you may sit down and wonder, oh, why is this person doing this? Or why is this person doing that? That's their mentality. That's why they're doing it. Because that's what they think they should do or that's what they think best. You ever wonder how people destroy their own life? And then you may sit down and say, oh, but I would never do that. Yeah, that's where that comes from. So comprehension. Like a lot of people worry about communication. But if they can't comprehend it, it's useless. It is useless. And I think that's what's destroying a lot of things in this generation is like people age is keep increasing, but their mentality is still the same. I can sit you down. You say you're the same age as me. And I can sit you down and tell you that you can buy your freedom if you find a way or you know your talent or you know your skills. And there's some way that you are able to buy your freedom. If you were raised to get it, go to school, get a job, go take, go take out a student loan, go, go do something. You know what I mean? If you were raised in a certain way, then you can't understand what I'm saying. You can't. And I've had different conversations with different people talking about different things. And most of them, like I would say maybe 80 or 80 or 90 percent of everybody, they are raised to, well, what I know, because I, I don't really speak for those that I don't know. So most of the people, what I know, they are raised in a way where, you know, you get a job, which nothing is wrong with that. You, so you, you get a job and you start saving, then you start to buy, buy a house or you take out a loan and you do this and you do this and you do that. But everybody do stuff differently. And I think, it, I think that's how people get tied down in the system because when I make moves, I make moves only once. And I've seen people make the same move too four, seven, ten times they make the same move. And I'm like, I would never do that because if you do something in a certain way and it didn't work, then why would you do it again in the same way? Like, bro, trust me. And me, bro, you have to, like, I'm a good listener. Like I said, when someone is talking to me, I listen to them because if somebody's going to talk to me, I can comprehend what they're saying. Like, I know how to understand people and understand what they're saying but can they understand me some some people can some people can you know that's just how it is so if somebody is talking to you you need to pay close attention to how they put their words together and how they're trying to deliver it to you because not like not a lot i wouldn't even like a lot of people don't know how to put stuff together and like try to make you understand it you know what i mean but if you know how to put words together and then you're talking to somebody that can't understand it's pointless that's why you can that's why there's problem in relationships from friendships because people are communicating but the other person can't understand what you're trying to say and you can't like you can't force them bro it will frustrate you try to trying to make somebody understand you sorry like imagine you trying to say to somebody okay I want to do this with my life and you want to live a regular life. If that person was raised to live a regular life, they don't know nothing more than what you're saying. And they themselves can't see a way out because that's how they were raised. That's what they're taught. Like most people do what they're, what they're taught to do, or you tell them to do something, they, they will eventually do it. But most people, they don't know how to think outside the box. 
they don't. So if a person can't understand what you're trying to say, then I, you, my friend, I wouldn't recommend you try to convince him or you're going to end up destroying yourself and be mentally exhausted trying to force somebody to understand you. Now, bro, I've had conversation with, like, say, older people like 30s and 40s and 50s. And if they're going to say to me, okay, uh, you got a job, you're doing this, you're doing this, and you're doing that. Like, they're telling me, well, projecting their however they see fit on me. And that's where the mistake come in or the problem come in. Because I always tell people, like, what you can do is completely different from what I can do. So if you're going to give me advice, and I always say it in most of my motivational videos, when a person give you advice, they give you advice based off what they know. That's why you can ask somebody any question or you can ask them for advice or information. And then they will say to you, oh, no. But what if you can do something? And then you're saying, oh, you know what? I want to start this, but I want to talk to somebody first to hear what somebody else think of it. People look within themselves before they understand, like, before, not say understand, but before they give you a response, they look within themselves. Like, if I want to be a full-time content creator, I can't ask you that's working a regular job that you don't see a way out to buy your freedom for advice. Because what you're going to tell me is, oh, yeah, bro, I, I got a job. I'm working this job for 30 years, and uh, yeah. But what you have to show, like, I can't understand how, like, don't get me wrong. I don't have nothing personal against 9 to 5. But how are you working the same job for over 20 years? Or 10 years or five years. Why are you working the same job for one year? I ain't got nothing to show. That's something I can never understand. Like, bro, it blows my mind looking at people doing the same thing and have nothing to show. That's something I can't comprehend. Because honestly, I, I like I like I, I don't even know. <laughs> That's something I don't know. Like I like I could sit down and listen to somebody telling me they, they did this for 10 years and then by the time they're done i'm like okay so what did you learn or what do you have to show and they look at me clueless that, like there's nothing in their mind they don't have an answer for me you know what i mean if if somebody should come to the house and look inside my room the first thing they will say oh nice bed a lot of shoes a lot of accessories they can know your worth based off the accessories that you have so if you have to go out of your way to say, oh, uh, do I, 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 I bought this and buy this. No, no, no. You should have to go out of, your, out of your way to convince nobody because once you got it, people can see that you got it. So then they can, like most people believe what they can see. That's why sometimes they can't comprehend what you're saying if they can't see it. And that's also one of the biggest problems, like communication and comprehension. Like I can come here and sit down and tell you every single day the same thing. But if you're not there mentally, there's no way you can understand what I'm saying. That's why in this generation, it's hard to convince somebody that you're worth something or you can do something or you're talented or you're skillful if they don't see it. They can't, they, 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 they refuse to understand it. Because mostly people believe what they see. But let me tell you something. If you are the type of person where you have to see something in order to believe it, you'll end up getting nowhere. You know why? Because you don't think that something is possible if you didn't see it. So you can't figure out a way how to buy your freedom because you don't know nobody that's doing that. or you don't understand the game. So it's like straightforward. So you go get a job, then you get paid. So you have to see it in order to believe it. But that's like all those people. Trust me, if you don't believe me and you're in a mature state of mind, look at those people that they have to see it in order to believe it. Where exactly are they? Nowhere. So in order for you to truly evolve beyond whatever it is that you can do is you have to believe something in order to make it happen. Okay. All religion aside, 
I don't care what you are, Christian, uh, Catholic, seven day, Sikh, Muslim, where, whatever you are. Remove your religion. Remove your culture. Remove your history. What are you left with? Nothing. Right? Yeah, no, no, don't look at me like that. If you remove everything, you're left with nothing. So with that being said is, you believe your religion. You believe your culture. You believe your history. And then you live your life pertaining to everything that you were taught. But what if we didn't know that? Then everybody would be living different. See where I'm going? So with that being said is, if you're the type of person to, I, I guarantee you, before I say whatever it is that I was about to say, I guarantee you, if we couldn't remember our history or there were no religion and there were no culture, then they, there will be like nothing to abide by because you have to be like, you have to see it in order to believe it. So you have to see your history. You have to see your culture. You have to see your religion. You have to see all of that. And then you believe it. But guess what? If there were nothing, then we would have found something else to believe in. That's human nature. People search for things and they latch on to it. But as I say, if you're the type of person where, oh, I can't do this or can't do that because I, I, I have to see it in order to believe it, then you, you, my friend, you're lost in the system. That means you're easygoing. That means whatever somebody show you or whatever they tell you, that's exactly what you know. You're not the type of person to sit down and use your own brain in order to figure nothing out. That's why those people get nowhere. So you can spend every day trying to communicate with somebody. If they can't comprehend what you're saying is pointless. Like me, I barely even talk to people I know personally about YouTube because if, if they're not in that area, then they can't understand what I'm saying. So if I can come and say to you, oh, you know, uh, YouTube, you know, you can get paid for YouTube. The first thing an average person would say is, oh, you can get paid. They, 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 they can understand the getting paid part. But to make the videos, to edit the videos, to look at your uh, video analysis and all these different types of stuff, they don't know nothing. This is why you can, you can say something to somebody and then they call you every single day. Oh, bro. Uh, I post a video. Do I get paid now? No, it doesn't work like that. Do did you monetize your YouTube? Oh, uh, where do I go to do that? See that that that's where that come from. Same thing with singing, dancing, all these different type of stuff. They can't comprehend exactly what you're saying. So you can sit down and preach every single day. And if you're the type of person that you know how to put words together in order to make somebody understand what you're saying if they can't receive it the way how you're trying to make them understand pointless i remember when i was in a uh, school i think was it like a one or a second grade and then we they was there was a there was a subject called communication task which we sit down and we if we got an issue with the kids we sit down and we talk to the kids based off how we feel like bro <laughs> one day the whole class was sitting down in front of me <laughs> and I was like <laughs> but bro but at that time I couldn't understand nothing all I heard was oh doing this and that, 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 that's just it so what I'm trying to say is is you can have conversations with anybody you can try to have a serious conversation with somebody but if that person is not mentally there they can't understand what you're saying you can sit down and talk about business with somebody but if that person doesn't have a business mentality pointless you can sit down and talk to somebody about dancing cooking welding so and if that person is not there yet pointless you can sit down and talk to somebody about buying a house buying a car buying something but if that person is not there pointless and if, if it's the other way around then it's also pointless. Like if you are trying to buy a house, you can't talk to somebody who didn't buy a house because they don't know how. If you're wanting to buy a car, you can't ask somebody that don't have a car because they don't understand how it is to buy a car. Most times I think people, well, communicate and comprehension, like I was saying, but I think most times people communicate with the wrong people 
that's why they themselves end up getting nowhere because sometimes you got some people like they want to do so much but they can't do it because of the voices that they're hearing if somebody was supposed to come to me and say, Ty, how do I buy a bedroom set? Depending on which furniture store, boom, 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 less than five minutes, done. If somebody was supposed to come to me and say, Ty, how, how do I buy a car or like something what I know, boom, 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 done. I think that's one thing that frustrates people a lot is people try to convince somebody else, try to communicate, like, well, communicating is trying to convince somebody it could be good it could be bad but communication like i said is you saying something like people can only talk what they know or say what they know but a person can understand it's like say it's like somebody talking to you in a foreign language you can hear what they're saying you just can't understand it it's the same concept so if a person is not mentally evolved and you're a mature person it's pointless and you can't watch their age because if you watch someone age and say oh but you're 32 how come you're here and uh, you can't understand what i'm saying they're just not there they're they're just not there and it's actually like you can't do nothing about it if a person can't understand you you can't do nothing about it that's why a lot of people end up getting frustrated but until you understand that you don't control what a person think and you can't control what they do then you'll be your life will be a lot easier trust me like convincing somebody you're wasting your time trying to communicate if they can't comprehend it you're wasting your time if a person is not mature enough or in a state of mind or on the same road as you or say in the same skill area or they, they're not say they, they don't want nothing out of life you're wasting your time that's why they always say put yourself around winners if you want to be a winner put yourself around put yourself around people that's doing something that you enjoy because guess what if you are around the people that like say you find something interesting or you want to do something and you put yourself around those people then you will learn because those people are on the same road that you're like what you're trying to do they're on the same road so when you're there you can learn you can evolve you can understand what's going on because that's what you're interested in and that's why a lot of people spend their time with small mind people and end up getting nowhere because imagine you sitting down telling somebody you can do so much more and they're sitting down looking at you telling you oh you can't do that why are you doing that let's all sit down and be broke and get nowhere because they, they are people like that you got some people that if you start doing something you start working on yourself they start laughing at you because i think small mind people were designed to help keep you down with them that's life and that's how it is but you my friend if you're that say 5% that you want to buy your freedom before a certain age and you don't want to be trapped in the 95 industry like all these people work until they're 80, then you're going to have to be mentally strong and you are going to have to be mentally prepared to push forward regardless of what nobody's saying. Because you got some people that as soon as they start uh, doing stuff and people go, oh, he's got a little job and he's doing this and he's doing that, they, they fall off. Oh, I don't want nobody talking about me. So let me just sit down here. You're hurting nobody but yourself because those people that you are trying to avoid talking about, you, they are nowhere. If a person is giving you advice or they're saying something or they're trying to tell you how you should live your life, you should sit down and look at them. And before you answer, you need to understand that what that person is saying to you, that's how they think. That's why they're saying that. But a lot of people think, oh, if this person is saying I should just go get a regular job and put myself in eternal debt and shouldn't do YouTube to buy my freedom because they don't know nothing about YouTube, then maybe it's not real. No, that's complete garbage. I'm the type of guy, when somebody's talking to me, I listen to them. Not say I'm going <laughs> to do what they say. Because if you're going to tell me, oh, get a job, work work, and buy a house and uh, have all these unnecessarily debt. You can't take a vacation. You can't save no money. You can't do this. You can't do that. But at least you got a job. But you got a job, but you're not free. That That's life and that's how it is. You can't change that. You can't change it. Bro. <laughs> That's why a lot of people end up getting frustrated. Trying to convince somebody or trying to explain something and they can't understand you. It's like telling a toddler to stop run, running all over the place when they're on sugar. Especially if you're telling them in a different language. They can't understand you. 
If they can't understand you, then you just waste all your breath trying to let somebody else understand you. And they still don't understand you. And you're still frustrated. That's why you end up, you know? And that's how people end up destroying themselves. Because a person can't understand you and you're getting frustrated, you're beating yourself up, you're tearing yourself limb from limb, you're destroying yourself inside and out just because somebody else can't understand you? Complete garbage. You're just as bad as they are. That's just how it is. So I hope this message was useful for some of you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, not everybody can comprehend what you're saying. If a person is not there mentally, you're wasting your time. So thank you for watching. I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I post daily on them.